Welcome to Community Foundation Spotlight. I'm Spicer Bell, I'm the President of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and I'm sure some of you are regular viewers, uh, and you know that we highlight a variety of nonprofit organizations through these, uh, these shows. We, and today we're shining the Community Foundation Spotlight on the Four Steps Therapeutic Writing Program. Uh, and I'm uh, going to help you g get to know a, bit, a little bit about uh, Four Steps with our conversation with Jack Freestat. Uh, Jack, welcome. Thank you. Nice and, to see you. And Jack, you are a, uh, a volunteer, uh, a board member, and a volunteer at Four Steps, right? Yes, I started uh, last July, okay. almost a year ago. Great. Uh, start us off, Four Steps Therapeutic Riding. What is it? What do you do? We enhance the lives of individuals uh, and enrich their lives, uh, individuals from children to, through adults. Um, uh, that have uh, emotional, mental, or physical disabilities, and uh, through through horseback riding and animal-related re partnership. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and these are, I know, many times young people who uh, uh, maybe aren't sure, of, very sure of themselves, or sure of life, and uh, probably never dreamt that they'd be able to get on a horse. And you make it a possibility. That is true. Uh, we recently had a three-year-old that uh, had a um, chromosome defect uh, in his life and uh, delayed in, in being able to crawl and do things that uh, young children do. And he's been coming out for a couple months. And uh, it's helped him to learn to crawl and to get his knees up under and, and move. and. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it and it's helped him enhance his life and, and then of his family as mm -hmm. well. Neat. Um, now, Jack, on the personal side, what, what, is, what is your background that led to your involvement with, with Four Steps? I've uh, sold capital equipment and developed ranches uh, on the Eastern Shore since 1974. Mm -hmm. Worked for a lot of companies out of the Baltimore area, uh, setting up businesses here on the Eastern Shore. and decided to retire in 2009 and I was looking for something uh, that was meaningful um, in the volunteer way and have always loved and owned some horses in the past. So I found a way to enjoy horses and be a volunteer helping those with disabilities. It's been a tremendous blessing for me. Mm -hmm. And what do you do at Four Steps? I, as a volunteer, besides interviews like this, <laughs> I guess my, <laughs> I guess my biggest uh, job is being a sidewalker. We have about 40 volunteers that come out daily. We have uh, rides in the morning, uh, late in the afternoon, evening sometimes, um, with all types of disabilities, and so we all uh, become, you might call it, a symphony working with uh, these clients and sometimes their parents uh, to get them acquainted with the horses and provide meaningful different lessons every week where they uh, enhance their physical, mental, and emotional health. And uh, so we have a, the uh, director who, who directs the, uh, the, the lessons. We have a uh, horse leader that's responsible for the horse when we put a disabled person on that horse and two sidewalkers if they require uh, that much close care. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sidewalkers are responsible for uh, the person on the horse. And we incorporate our clients uh, to get to know the horses. The first thing they do is pet the horse and they help in the grooming of the horse, uh, collecting the the pads and saddle. Uh, after grooming the horse, we put those the pads on the horse, and then those with the experience will put the saddle on and bridle and girth the horse. At the end of the lesson, the, these uh, clients will feed the horse a treat. They get <laughs> they get carrots and apples uh, after each session, and we have anywhere from two to four at a time over a three hour period, maybe uh, two to three groups. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when they get off the horse, they pet the horse and they develop this tremendous 
communication and feeling for the horse uh, somewhat like you might have for your pet dog or so mm -hmm. forth. So um, it, it's, it's like w watching a symphony. Everybody helps each other and mm. encourages each other. And, uh, and that is all for the safety of the, the rider and the horse and the volunteers and everyone's safety and enjoyment. It's a, it's a, it's a great enjoyment for those that get mm -hmm. come out to ride. It's got, certainly got to be a wonderful feeling of satisfaction for you. I, I, I've seen some of the photos and, and the looks on some of your, your, your clients' faces are just, they're just amazing. The, the smiles and the, the bright eyes and... It, Some have only dreamed to be able to ride a horse and to, to really do it. There was a young lady with um, uh, multiple sclerosis, had good upper body. She was in her 20s and uh, she just cried and screamed with glee that she was doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they get stronger by, by riding the horse and they gain a lot of Test skills. your balance and what have you. Balance, you, coordination, eye-hand coordination. Great self-esteem builder for for these folks. So. Excellent, and they they grow each week. You see improvements. Um, there was a young man from Dove Point uh, who was in a wheelchair, and it's hard for him to even hold his head up, and his hands are kind of twisted. But he'll get on the horse and uh, get to the point through exercises we do on the ground, uh, on the horse, and um, some games that we play, to the point where he can now sit up straight and hold the reins where he used to have to hold the horn of the western saddle. And he can place rings, colored rings, on trees and put them on the proper colored cones and these little activities that we do, throw balls through colored tires, and you can just, he'll, you can see, he speaks very low. You have to really listen. <clears throat> he uses hand signals. He'll tell you if, his tire, if he's tired by asking him, would you like to, to get off the horse now or would you like to continue to ride? And he'll hand signal. And it's just um, a blessing and, and uh, a uh, miracle. To neat, some degree. Neat. Now, you, you mentioned Dove Point. Who are some of the other organizations in the area that you, that you work with? Well, we're working with um, the Salvation Army uh, uh, children uh, this summer. There's a summer camp all summer long. Children at risk, uh, they will come out. They learn responsibility and listening and, and uh, safety and uh, communication with a horse. Mm -hmm. And it's a great opportunity to, to uh, teach them life skills and confidence and um, uh, training and uh, uh, l learning to do things in, in a better way. And probably doing something that they, for many of them, never dreamt they'd be able to do. It's got to be a great, uh, uh, as I say, con confidence builder and, and kind of build the ego in a very positive way. That's true. So. Um, I, I, are, are there other emotional benefits to your clients that you Ma observed? Many, many. Uh, um, they're out in the fresh air and they get a chance to exercise and there's a sense of normality being there. They're not in a, a school setting where it's difficult to, to, to learn for, for some of these children with, with some disabilities. Uh, they learn to speak and to communicate uh, where it might have been hard for them. Uh, emotional control, patience, um, concentration. They get, they look forward each week. We have a young lady um, who has um, autism and uh, uh, Down syndrome, mm. and she'll sing nursery rhymes with us and songs, and she can um, uh, pick up rings and match colors and. Uh, uh, she's learning much better balance and to control of the horse and her sister brings her uh, every week unless it rains or it's, mm -hmm. it, it's a, a very, you know, very bad day. Um, but uh, you can see her growth and she's more alive, more happy, smiling and, 
and, and loves these games that we play mm -hmm. and, and going out on the trail. Mm -hmm. And her, her sister has children and a family, but she uh, uh, every week brings her out to ride. So some of what you do is in and around a riding area, a riding ring, what have you, but you also do trail rides also. Yes, we have um, uh, two corrals that we uh, do exercises. We, we, we get the horses in the groove and we, we get, get them to relax and, and strengthen themselves a little bit. Uh, they, we actually, they actually do exercises on the horse where they stretch their arms and they reach out for their ears or they stretch their arms to the back of the horse, um, go around cones, change direction on the horse, this transition. Four Steps is all about um, balance, uh, contact and control. The third one is uh, moving forward and transition. Riding a horse, there's a lot of transition. Mm -hmm. And from there we go to a, another corral and get into more intricate games and um, strengthening exercises. And from there we go out onto trails. We have short, medium, and long trails mm -hmm. and 5,000 acres of trails beyond that in the Wicomico Forest. Mm -hmm. Beautiful area. That's mm -hmm. neat. Are the horses specially trained for this? Uh, are there particular characteristics that the uh, uh, that you all seek in the in the horses you use? Absolutely. Um, we have nine horses and they're very intelligent horses. Uh, uh, six of those horses were originally uh, race horses, uh, standard bred horses that uh, raced at Harrington and, and sulky riding. So they had a lot of training to begin with and when they get to the point where they're uh, it's, it's difficult to race um, they're very wonderful for us because they listen really well. They've had a lot of training and we continually work with them. They have to be safe for our uh, disabled riders. They have to, everything we do with them is exactly the same. Every horse, every rider, every volunteer, we do the same things with the horse so that he doesn't develop bad habits because the most important thing is the mm -hmm. safety of the rider, the volunteer and the client. and, and Sometimes the, the uh, parents work as volunteers as well. So they're, they're very intelligent. Uh, for instance, when we put the bridle on, we kind of um, put our uh, arm o over the top of their head in a certain way so that we gently bring the bridle up so that they don't pick up a bad habit of throwing their head back, let's say. And uh, so there are dangers to riding out on the trail, mm -hmm. insects or whatever. And um, uh, so we want horses that we can depend on. And, and so they get continual training and they know what's expected of them. And uh, they, they also help in the lessons with the horse. Yeah. We're talking uh, today about uh, the Four Steps Therapeutic Riding Program. Uh, I'm Spicer Bell. I'm the president of Community Foundation of Eastern Shore, and we're shining the Community Foundation spotlight on Four Steps. And our guest is uh, is Jack Freestat. And Jack's a volunteer and board member at Four Steps. Uh, it, it, it sounds like that uh, there's as much effort going into training the horses and the volunteers as it is anything else, Jack. That is true. It's a it's a process, and uh, we you know, the other day we shared watermelon at the end of riding, and sometimes the the kids will do some crafts or read a story. Um, it's a it, it's it's a total experience uh, in in life life learning. Now, if we have a viewer who has a family member who they think may benefit from the you know participating in a program at Four Steps, how do they get in touch with you all? They would call our executive director at. Four Steps uh, Therapeutic Program at the Riding Center, and her name is uh, Sandy Winter. She's the executive director again, and her phone number is 410-835-8814, and uh, she can direct them and, and when to come, how to come, mm -hmm. and what's required, mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're a growing program. We have about... Uh, 35 participants, uh, any one uh, session, time period, 
and uh, we, we probably have about 100 clients over the year. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about volunteers because you're a volunteer and I think you mentioned you have close to 40 volunteers. If, if someone's interested in volunteering, what might they, how, how do they get, again, I guess they use the same way of getting in touch with you, right. but uh, what might they do and uh, why would they want to do that? Um, sometimes uh, for, at school they, they're, they're asked to do volunteer work or um, their families are interested in, in them doing something on a volunteer basis or the interest in horses and uh, it, it's, a, it's a responsible type of activity. You, you have to uh, do it in a certain way and do it safely and uh, so they have to be at least uh, 13 and um, uh, adults, we even do, uh, they're checked out. Uh, and um, Sandy will help them in, in what, what it's about so mm -hmm. they understand. And, mm -hmm. and it's basically, you, you do the minor things to begin with. You have to have 30 hours in before you can be a sidewalker or other things. Okay. You, you have to have training. Okay. So it's a pr you, everybody is learning. Everybody someplace, everybody somewhere on that learning. Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. Now, now Four Steps is a part is a member of a larger organization, a national organization of these types of centers across the country. Correct. That is correct. There are over 800 centers at this point. It's a growing field because it is so helpful to to patients or to clients, and uh, it's a, a North American. Uh, riding for the Handicapped Association Incorporated. Mm -hmm. It's out of Denver, Colorado. Started in 1969. We, our and your, center, Yours is one of the few certified programs in the area, if I'm it's correct. It's a premium accredited center. It's one of the premium accredited centers. Our executive director, she spends a lot of summers traveling to other centers all over the country. She's been out in Wyoming and up to New England uh, visiting other centers. Mm -hmm. I visited a couple in Williamsburg and Crownsville, Maryland, and uh, we're, we're, we follow their guidelines and their training. To be an executive director, you take a lot of courses to be eventually certified to, to do that. And uh, so we follow a lot of their, all of their policies and the way they uh, present the programs yeah. and lessons. As, as a board member, mm -hmm. what, what, are, what are the challenges that you see for the program and, and uh, what do you see as the future of the program? Um, the, the, the cost for disabled riders uh, is minimal, about tw uh, $25, and the cost, the actual cost to maintain horses is almost $50. Mm -hmm. So we depend on, on donations mm -hmm. and grants and fundraising. We, we have quite a few fundraising events and we've been reaching out to the community to, to, to get help in that area. And, and we have four or five uh, goals. We would like to have a second instructor. There must be an instructor on site uh, whenever there is lessons and, and clients and volunteers on site. So if the instructor can't be there a particular day, there, there are no sessions. Mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of demand for, and other agencies on the shore besides Dove Point and Salvation Army and uh, the health department and others that we work with um, that would like to use our program. So by adding a second instructor, uh, we can um, provide this service to more people. Mm -hmm. And we're looking, uh, we're working with a young lady who's working on her graduate degree at U UMES, and she has a major in mental health, and we would like to tie that in with Nora's program to um, have support on site mm -hmm. for emotional and, and mental needs of our clients. We teach them how to ride and to enjoy the horse and to communicate with the horse. Uh, but that's another facet of it. Mm -hmm. We also would love to have a, a, a covered arena. If you have a rainy week, they don't have lessons. And that, um, some of our clients will miss a week of 
the exercise and, and the, the growth because of bad weather or extremely hot or extremely cold. And uh, we also would like to provide uh, 100 uh, scholarship lessons, an additional 100 schol mm -hmm. scholarship lessons in the future. So there are a variety of ways that, uh, that uh, donors could potentially help you to support Absolutely. your work uh, as, as well as get out there and, I guess, get a little dusty and dirty and, uh, and volunteer. It's a wonderful thing and uh, it, it, it's like clockwork. Everybody's moving. You have to make sure the horses are separated and, and people don't walk too close to a, to a horse that... Uh, they might uh, scare and uh, uh, taking care of everybody, and it, it, it's just uh, amazing the results. Mm -hmm. It's a growing important thing in, in uh, enhancing uh, a person with a disability mm -hmm. and his family life. I, I, I venture to say, have, having been exposed to some programs like this, it's, uh, it's, it's not just the client that benefits. It's everyone involved in the experience. Everyone benefits, but we just have a, everyone, parents, clients, volunteers, and the management, uh, we, we just savor those last 10 or 15 minutes uh, a after the experience because the horse gets patted on the neck for his job and gets, gets a treat and the, uh, those that are able, uh, will help take the saddle and the, the the saddle and the blankets off and put the horses back mm -hmm. in the corral and and um, discuss what went on that day and everybody celebrates everybody celebrates everybody celebrates it's, it, 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 it's really neat uh, you all are to be commended and uh, you know certainly you've uh, forceps has received a couple of grants from the community foundation and, and we're pleased to be able to, to support your work and your outreach to some of the disabled citizens here in our local area. We, th we thank you very much for supporting us. Let's go one more time. If someone's out there and would be willing to support your work with a donation or some volunteer time, how do they get in touch with you? They would contact Sandy Winter, our executive director at Four Steps Thera Therapeutic Riding Center at 410-835-8814. And you're located on the on the 60 foot road uh, near Mount Hermon Road in the Parsons yes, uh, area. Yes, going toward Ocean City on Mount Hermon mm -hmm. Road, you make a left on the 60 foot road, and we're on the right about a quarter of a mile. Now I know you have uh, you've done a fundraiser before, and you have a fundraiser coming up this fall. It's going to be Four Steps Night at the Races. What is that? Yes, we've done we've done that before. Uh, uh, some of our clients and their families, friends of Four Steps, uh, uh, those interested in Four Steps will uh, secure a bus and have all kinds of games uh, involving possibly horses and, <laughs> and uh, uh, on the way and they have a nice uh, dinner there and we can watch the races and it's a, it's a, a uh, Wonderful fellowship affair. And that'll be the, the races at Harrington? Harrington. At Harrington. So, and some, and some, of, your, uh, some of your horses are, uh, are former trotters. And they're former, that is correct, former they're trotters racers. and pacers. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's one of the things the horse does. Um, your pelvis goes forward and backwards, sideways and up and down. And the movement of the horse uh, strengthens your, all your trunk muscles, mm -hmm. and that's one of the, the benefits of riding, and each horse is a different size, has a different type walk, and we put them on different horses mm -hmm. and they gain that, that strength, and it's a perfect position sitting on a horse to strengthen muscles throughout your, your body. Mm -hmm. Neat, very, very interesting. Hey, Jack, is there anything about four steps that I should have asked that I haven't asked? Gee, I could go on. I know on. you've got a bunch of notes there. I could there. go on all day. <laughs> Um, uh, please come out and see what we do. Uh, we help a lot of families. If you know a family that uh, would like to uh, uh, improve their uh, physical health, we would love to, to help them. There's a man who uh, has a, uh, two children in elementary school and a lovely wife, and he chose to come to this area 
because he was looking for a therapeutic grinding center. Mm. He's had muscular uh, sclerosis for 17 years. Mm. He has braces uh, that are electrically uh, uh, tied to uh, an electrical system that energizes him to help him to move his legs. Mm. And by riding on the horses out there, it, it helps him to be mobile and to get those muscles moving mm. that wouldn't or, ordinarily get the opportunity of being in a wheelchair or mm. in your home. Right. So I'm sure you can you can point to a lot of success stories like that. So Absolutely, great. great. Been riding eight nine years, mm -hmm. and they keep well, coming. Keep coming back. Great. And there's a relative of uh, Frank Perdue. Uh, she started riding at age, I think, 61, and she's mm -hmm. 66 years old. And it gives her something to keep her in good health and something she enjoys, and she comes out every year to, to uh, keep, keep up her strength. Interesting. And Very good. Well, well, Jack, I certainly appreciate you coming in and visiting with us today. And uh, I, I'm sure some of our viewers have not ever heard of Four Steps uh, Therapeutic Riding. Maybe you don't even know that there's such a thing as therapeutic riding programs. And uh, hopefully we have uh, picked their interest a little bit. And uh, they will uh, learn a little bit more about you and maybe become a part of the program, find some ways to support you. I know you have a website. Yes. Can you give the website address? Oh, let's see. Uh, the folks here at PAC-14, I'm sure we'll show it on the screen. www.4stepstrp.org. Okay, great. We'll get that. Uh, and it's, it's the number four steps, if I could. Or is it spelled out, F-O-U-R? Uh, no, the number four. Number four. www.4stepstrp.org. Okay, great. So, well, we thank you for watching Community Foundation Spotlight here on PAC-14. Uh, my guest today has been Jack Freestat, and we've been talking about the Four Steps Therapeutic Writing Program. Uh, uh, and if, if you have a family member you think might benefit from a program like this, be sure to get in touch with, uh, with the folks there at Four Steps. Uh, they are a great volunteer opportunity for you. We're going to once again uh, remind you the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore sponsors the Shore Can Volunteer Center. That's S H O R E C A N. If you ever wondered where, how you can perhaps some put a little bit of your spare time and energy to work uh, to improve our community, go to the Shore Can Volunteer Center. at shorecan.org and uh, check out the listing of volunteer opportunities. Any given time, we typically have over a hundred. Volunteer opportunities are actively available here in our local community. And by volunteering, you can make a real difference in the world around you. We thank you for viewing Community Foundation Spotlight here on PAC-14. Would you like to see your community organization or nonprofit group featured on PAC-14? To get started, contact us at 410-677-5014 or visit our website at www.pac14.org. PAC-14 is a great way to connect with your community.